In public, when we are walking, sometimes the people see me and they, even unknown people, when they see me, they smile at me because they recognize me as a post person. So I think that respect is for my uniform. A little kid, he's only about five or six, he said to his bigger brother who he's playing in the garden with, he goes, oh, look, is that the queen <laughs> walking along the road? Because there was a crown on my trolley. And his brother says, no, don't be silly. Just recently, I got stopped by an old lady in the street. She said to me, oh, why do postmen always wear shorts all year round? And I said, it's because when we're in and out of blocks of flats after half an hour of delivering, we get very warm. Plus, on the other side, when it rains, the bottom half of your trousers get wet and it feels heavy. And I was told by someone, as long as you wear shorts that are below your knees in the winter, you don't get red knees. And I thought, oh, I'll try that one, yeah? You know what? I haven't worn trousers for nine years since I've done that. Well, I became a telegram boy in 1955. A member of the public, uh, I mean, they treated you with respect. I mean, they were welcome to see you, you know. I mean, it was good to have a letter, you know. Uh, it could be a birthday card, Christmas card. You know, so you were well looked out for. Everybody looked for the postman. Eventually, motorcycles were introduced to our office, and you were issued with uh, a helmet, goggles, and well, they looked like ex army boots <laughs> because they weren't blue, they were sort of khaki colour, you know, and big gloves. The bike that we used to ride was a, a BSA Bantam two stroke. They had to be governed as well to 30 miles. They didn't want them to go any faster than that. So if you're going up a hill on a windy day, you can more or less get off and walk beside it. I think the feel of the uniform is important because you're wearing it all day and you're walking around and you should be comfortable really to wear the uniform. For me, I don't feel comfortable with the trousers, uh, uniform trousers. No, I'm not a fan of combat. I haven't tried them on, but I don't know, it's just the material. I think I find it more stiffer. I think this, I find the, uh, the joggers more comfortable. Some of my colleagues could walk around with a baseball cap on, which Royal Mail introduced in the mid-2000s. I didn't really like it because I still prefer wearing the old peak cap. It makes you look proud to work for Royal Mail still. I think the favourite bit of uniform ever since I started was like a, a coat. It used to come right down to here and it just felt like you were wearing a duvet, it kept you nice and warm. And you could un even unzip the sleeves because, uh, you know, if you got, did get too hot, you just unzip the sleeves and you just walked around like that. So I think that was my favourite. Some of us still prefer to hang on to some of the old uniform because it's good quality and we feel proud to wear it. Over the years, I've accumulated a hell of a lot of uniform. During the different parts of the seasons, I tend to wear the thicker fleeces mixed with the lightweight trousers or shorts and hats. I tend to switch around as well. If you notice that I've got a name badge here, a lot of people ask me about the name badge and go, oh, I've never had one of them before. Um, we were all given one when we first started. If you lost one, on the back of the badge, the general public were allowed to claim a reward if they handed it into the nearest post office. A reward will be given to the finder of this badge on handing it into the nearest post office. And it doesn't count nowadays, so don't try. Uh, in the uniform, in the shirts, they do the red ones and the blue ones. I mostly wear the, uh, the red ones I do. I prefer it but you do get a lot of people still wearing the blue ones. Yeah, this is a red shirt. Actually, this is not my color, but this is in distance they can see because it's a visible stripes are there. So in distance, even in dark is glow. So the people can see it. This is my favorite color. And this is the logo I like, it's lovely. And also this pleat, this shirt, is really good, uh, giving a good look, and it's give the good space as well. Really, I love to wear this one. There's one thing about our high waist, they don't have a pockets, which, uh, and then you get people, they actually sew it on there, onto their high waist. The big thing I've done for the last 30 years is every Christmas I decorate my trolley and I decorate my jacket. I put 
um, Christmas decorations on and on Christmas Eve I dress up as Father Christmas. I did once get an old shirt and cut it smaller so that my daughter when she was at junior school could wear it on a dress up day and she went as a post lady of course. <laughs> We have a blue shirt as a uniform, I've got a blue scarf. We have red, so I've got a red scarf, so that's how I just customise it. I've always joked with the manager saying that, oh, uh, when I have a red uh, one on, I said you should have one with raw mail written on there. And actually a lot of people have told me, yeah, oh, I like the way you, you match your, your... I said, oh yeah, well, you know, if you're going to come into work, come properly. I've never broken. I don't remember ever breaking the rules, but um, I do remember when we weren't allowed to wear shorts and then it, I think we must have had a particularly hot summer and they relented and said, yes, we could wear shorts. It had to be a certain temperature outside, but I think that's why the short thing came in and where, why postmen now wear shorts all year round, because they tried to keep it on as long as possible. It was just out of defiance, really. Yeah. In the early 90s, when I first started, right up until about 2000, in my office especially, if you didn't have a tie, you were sent home. If you weren't wearing the correct footwear, you were sent home. If you didn't have your name badge on your shirt or your jacket, you were sent home. Within the last three years, because of their uniform, most managers prefer you to wear, as long as you're wearing a high-vis, they're happy. But I like to still wear all the full uniform because we stand out from other couriers. Whenever you're wearing a uniform, you're referencing it in the post office, and you, you weren't expected to bring them into disrepute. You know, it's the same with if you've committed um, a driving offence, you, know, you were disciplined over that uh, because you were bringing the post office into disrepute. It, it was somebody's job in, on the clerical writing to read the local newspaper and pick out any staff who had carried out an offence. Yeah, I once broke the rules again by, in the early 2000s when we had a big heat wave, I asked my boss, can I wear a skirt? And he said no. And I thought, well, why not? So I, I went home, got a navy blue skirt, put it on, came in the next day and I said, right, if it's good enough for girls to wear shorts, it's good enough for men to wear dresses. And he went, fair enough, if you're game to wear it, wear it. I didn't used to iron my shirt and people used to start commenting on it and in the end we ended up with having a competition who could wear, who could go the longest without ironing their shirt and wear the most creased shirt and of course I won. <laughs> okay. If I was to design a uniform for nowadays, I would still keep the blue shirts because we've got pockets on either side, we've got pen holders, but uh, I'll probably add an extra one here for either your pens that go in there and I would have more hats, different types of hats to wear out for the whole season. If I could um, design my own uniform I would definitely have some sort of sweatshirt, not a jumper because I remember the old woolen jumpers of course always used to shrink in the wash so I wouldn't have a woolen but a thick sweatshirt that you could wear under your fleece would be perfect in the winter. If I design my own uniform I will put one logo on one on the side and the back as well to people could see from any side. If I had a choice of, of designing my own uniform, I'd have a couple of dresses, especially for the summer, with pockets. That would help a lot and that, that I would like. I think wearing the uniform, you do feel part of the firm, as they call it. When you go to work, all your colleagues are wearing the same and you do feel part of the team, really. Public are recognise us as uh, respectable people. And I'm proud to wear the uniform because when I wear the uniform, I feel like I'm offering the service. People in the old days respected Royal Mail 4 and still nowadays when they see me wearing it, they feel like they're still getting the same quality of service. Oh, I was proud to wear my uniform. Um, and I think everybody else I work with were the same. I mean, there wasn't many that came to work with a, you know, um, dress for Hadley. I just like wearing the crowns, you know. <laughs> it sort of emphasised again in a way that you're working for Royal Mail, you're working for the Queen, you might say. Although it's optional to wear uniform, but I choose to wear it a uh, majority of the time because it, actually as travelling, it shows people where I'm working and I'm proud of where I work. 
my neighbor, he always, when he see me, oh, Niroja, you look very smart with your uniform. And he's an 88 years old man, and he's always appreciate me with a uniform. You're very smart. Sometimes I feel shy. Sometimes I say, okay, thank you for your compliment. And uh, this is how I'm, I really love to wear my uniform.